government stealing our money and giving it to Zoom Lion. Now, you've heard the Zoom Lion story, so I just have to wrap it up again. Uh, um, uh, President Mills finds a, a cholera outbreak pandemic. WHO admits the pandemic. He thinks that we need to solve the problem. Who is the giant in the industry? We have a local player. He's a giant. They call him, can you do this uh, plant? He says, well, I need to take money from the bank. To take the money from the bank government, can you help guarantee? Government says, we'll guarantee 95 million. Professor Mills tells Parliament, Parliament agrees by a resolution, remember? Parliament agrees by a resolution. Okay, somehow the guarantee falls through. Private sector man, hardworking man, he wants to do it. So he finds his own money and he puts the plan together. He's almost finishing in 2016. President Mahama comes and says, look, let's give the guy money so that we can support him to finish the plans quickly because this thing can destroy our society. And it will also prevent us from getting to the Millennium Development Goals. Okay, so President Mahama provides $95 million from the District Assembly Common Fund. That money goes in and then uh, the, the, the plant is completed. The uh, charges, the service charges are changed from $2.5 million at the beginning with the guarantee to $4 million without the guarantee back to $2.5 million with the uh, 95 million given uh, to the private sector person from the Digital Assembly Common Fund. Auditor General is concerned about it. The 2020 report says, okay, we are asking the, uh, the company with whom government does billions of business to pay 95 million between 2021 and 2023, how will the company pay? They will pay out of the money that government is going to be paying them. How does government know that they will be paying them money? Because the company does a lot of work with the government, a whole lot of sanitation work. This is the main sanitation giant, not just in Ghana, probably in West Africa, in other parts. It's a company that is doing this sanitation business in 17 African countries. It's a Ghanaian company, originally from Ghana, doing this business in 17 African countries. Auditor General 2021 preliminary report, I can see 95 million paid from the common fund to Zoom Lion. I don't understand how Zoom Lion are going to pay back. I don't know what work they did. Preliminary report before he hears from everyone. And then comes this guy, this guy here. He says, government stealing money for our money and giving it to Zoom Lion. Now, that, I'm, I'm saying that this is a very reckless, very, very reckless headline. That's why today, when you go on Ghana Web and you put this in, you won't see the story because they are protecting him. Because anybody who takes out a writ of, of defamation against this guy, he will win. I'm going to show you the definition of stealing in the Criminal Offenses Act. Act 29 is there. The definition of stealing, I'm going to show you, is here. It's in Section 25 of the Criminal Offenses Act. A person steals who dishonestly appropriates a thing of which that person is not the owner. That's the definition of stealing in the Criminal Offenses Act. And it goes on, 125 still. The elements are as follows. There has to be an appropriation. That's in section 122. The appropriation has to be dishonest. The accused was not the owner of the thing appropriated. So there has to be an appropriation. The appropriation has to be dishonest. The person was not the owner of the, of the, of the thing that has been appropriated. Now, how is this process that I've explained going to end up at stealing? How is that going to end up at stealing? This process in the Criminal Offenses Act, how is it going to end up at stealing? Section 122 says, an appropriation of a thing in any other case means any moving, taking, obtaining, carrying away or dealing with a thing with the intent that a person may be deprived of the benefit of the ownership of that thing or of the benefit of the right or interest in the thing or in its value or proceeds or part of that thing. Now, with this kind of definition in the Criminal Offenses Act, if you take a writ of uh, defamation against Manasseh Azuri, any lawyer would win. And then when you win, he will say that it's a culture of silence. You are creating a culture of silence. This is the kind of thing they do. And I keep saying that this is a work of research. Put it on again. Put, put the Manasseh thing on again. It's a work of research. And the reason why we are privileged to do this job is so that we can do it well. Because in the future, when young people come up, Bello is here. Bello is a very clever person. Yesterday, Tuesday, when we put him on the, we put him on the TV, everybody was saying that Bello is clever. Now, Manasseh, do you think that if Bello wants to do investigative journalism, you will have something to do? You will be able to hold a candle to when this is the kind of investigative journalism you do. You, as an investigative journalist, serious person, you write a headline, a tabloid headline like that, reckless headline like that, Zoom Lion stealing our money. The, if you look at stealing, you put stealing in inverted commas. If you put stealing there in the Criminal Offenses Act, would you be able to defend yourself in court? And then when they sue them, they say that it is a culture of silence. Let's listen to President Akufado. Yesterday, when he met civil society, he said something very significant about this matter. Let's listen to him. Hear him out. Listen. I think all of us have to be very careful of 
a situation whereby people without due process are condemned and stigmatized as having acted in an improper or corrupt manner. Our laws are replete with examples of people who were charged and ultimately found not guilty by the courts. All of us have to be concerned about that, about calling people names before the fact. And that's what the president was saying. So you say government is stealing our money. And how is that possible? How is government able to steal our money? So this is the story, viewers. I mean, you can make your own decisions. I'm sure the text messages are coming. But I'd like to hear President Akufuado again. What's President Akufuado saying again? Let's hear it again. I think all of us have to be very careful of a situation whereby people without due process are condemned and stigmatized as having acted in an improper or corrupt manner. Our laws are replete with examples of people who were charged and ultimately found not guilty by the court. Now, I believe in local enterprise because all over the world, all the countries that we want to emulate, they have built local expertise. Yes, Bamase Azuri, who talks about the fact that many Ghanaian rich people are crooks. That's what he says. This is, this is hatred. This is the man who is full of hatred for another person who is doing entrepreneurial business so that he comes out to the conclusion without even the facts. He doesn't even have the facts. He doesn't bother to research. That is why they sacked him. You see, I keep saying they sacked him because he doesn't bother to research and he's embarrassing the brand that he represents. He embarrasses the brand because this is the kind of tabloid work that he does. We miss Kofi Kumsin of the Chronicle. We miss Tommy Thompson of the Free Press. When you read those people those days, do you always see that expression contrary to section this contrary to that you just come and write that uh, the government is still our money and give it that is why they will sack him they will sack. i don't know what their fourth estate is doing that their fourth estate newspaper i don't know where it's going it's not going nowhere if this is the kind of work they do crass work like that reckless work like that that's what i complain about i'll not stop complaining about it but that's what i complain about i'm sorry i put joseph siano japan's photograph here because i think that he has to be celebrated and i say it all the time and the people who did uh, Samsung in, 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 in Japan, uh, Samsung in Korea, and the people who did the Toyota in Japan, this is how they started. For a local person to start this way and survive the epochs of every government where at each point people are complaining about his relationship with the past government. Because I, I showed you the, the video of the fecal plant. Please put the video on again. Now, when you see that kind of plant and you're a president and you come into office and you see that kind of plant and it's, you're told it was built by a Ghanaian and he built it by borrowing from the market and borrowing at commercial rates, you will support it. That is why it started from President Mills. It went to President Mahan and President Akufuado came and then the project continued because any president elected by the people who sees that a private sector person has put money in this, gone for his own money and put money in this and has developed expertise to manage it and manage the waste of Ghanaians in Accra as a Ghanaian private person, every president will support this. Why won't any president support this effort? So the Auditor General's report is a preliminary report. It's just a preliminary observations. And the, 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 the matter has been sorted. So all of this is much ado about nothing. It's all much ado about nothing. It's much ado about nothing. So, you know, I, I want to celebrate uh, Dr. Joseph Sian Japan. This is a golden entrepreneur of our time that we just turned 50 years old. So he has a lot of years to help us and do the, inter if we have 10 of Zoom Lions in Ghana, can you imagine if somebody's building FICA plants, somebody's building some expertise in IT, you know of Silicon Valley in America, all of the, who are America's giants? Why do we talk about America today? We talk about Bill Gates. We talk about Steve Jobs. We talk about Jeff Bezos. That's America. America is not the emblem. America is not the military. America is Bill Gates. The reason why America has influence over our lives is Bill Gates, is the entrepreneurs, is the golden eggs that God has laid for every society. God himself laid the golden eggs for every society. You can't tell me that Joseph Sian Japan is not one of them. You can say everything you want, but you can't say he's not one of them. He is one of them. And we are excited. Look at, if I, if I don't know anything, look at what he has done with Metro TV. People tell me that, hey, these days, Metro TV, your studio is that, that. He did it. He's not going to benefit from it. He provided an enterprise for people to work and for us to churn out opinion. Look at all these young people sitting here. You people were calling me, telling me about Bello. How did Bello become? He came to Metro TV. When Metro TV ran out of everything, 
We ran out of everything. We had just two programs, ran out of everything. We went to him as an entrepreneur. He's not going to make money from, he's not going to make profit from Metro TV. But he said, I will do it because he's Ghanaian. If he was something else, he'd take his money abroad. He's Ghanaian. He does it. And that's why we are here today. So this Manasseh kind of hatred, we should, please, Manasseh, please, calm down, calm down, eh? Calm down. And then do proper work. Take the document. Read it. You see, if you don't have camera and nobody is whispering to you and you cannot go and gossip with Dom, Dom Level, you see what the president said? Because of gossiping with Dom Level, he couldn't do the work because he's looking for only Zoom Lion. <laughs> so you go and gossip. You, you and Suleiman Brahma, you go to Dom Level's office and you are gossiping. So he couldn't produce 12 reports in a year. Today, the Auditor General has produced 12 reports in a year. Dom Level was on the car park gossiping with you. Every 5 o'clock, he's gossiping to 8 o'clock. And that's where Manasseh gets a story. Now he doesn't have story. He writes tabloid headlines. Look, let's play Zangelewa for Manasseh. Today, I can't forgive him. I'm taking the Zangelewa from the guy who fatally, <laughs> who unsuccessfully sued the chief justice. Manasseh, Zangelewa. Etibe, 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 Zangelewa. Let's go straight to our people and see what they got. Bello, what do you have? This one is from Ama Ampoma Akoto Banfo. She says, would anyone have established the plant if Jospon hadn't? So, so talk, no action. Jospon is an action man, and that is what Ghana needs. For Manasseh, hmm. And then this one also from Patrick Osafweji. He says, pure hatred from Manasseh, targeted at Jospon. He is not being professional in his investigative journalism. And then another one from Philip Markins. He simply says, the company should just sue Manasseh for defamation. Okay, Mikael, let's hear you. Joshua G says, call the speed is paid. And Francis Adum says, very good job. When people don't understand the problem, they refuse to find solutions and therefore make all sorts of accusations. Rest my case. Kwao Tay says, bad headlines involving a thriving and transparent business is just a means of getting cheap publicity. Kele Baje Kwache says, thank you, Paul. I'm enjoying the program. Could you please handle the allegation that Zoom land sweepers are paid only 180 cities out of the 600 cities allocated to them by the government? And um, Fuseini says, I think it's imperative for us as people with platforms to do the necessary inquiries before bringing stories out. Sometimes we unduly tarnish the image of, of individuals and companies, and I think it is not the best. Manasseh must be diligent in his job. Thanks a lot, Paul, for this clarity from Fuseini. Uh, Ernest Clinton says, you see, at least he has exposed a lot of the things and some have been ta tabled before Parliament. Please allow the man to work. Teacher Aroma, good evening, Paul. You're doing a great job. Please elaborate more on the Agenda 111. The NDC wants to make it look bad in the sight of Ghanaians, national records. Sam Ajeman, Baba Paul, I like the opportunity you give to the young students in the studio. Few shows will give such young ones a platform like this. Bless you, Baba Paul. Samira Baumia Bajaba, the perfect program for a critical thinker. Paul, we love your in-depth analysis. Interesting. Dennis Selassie says, a few years back, Lavender Hill used to have this foul stench. Now you can drive past there with your windows down. And Ebenezer Autry has a compliment for you, Paul. He says, I just love your brand, Paul. Apart from you, how you make your presentations, branding is what I study from you. And Bakura Isaac says, Paul, thank you for this education. I think Manasseh didn't do his homework well. His type of journalism will not help Ghana. Safianu Adam, Paul, the fact you have mm. provided this evening on the Auditor General's report on Zoom Lion has further shredded Manasseh's stand and accusations of the company into pieces. But he is fast losing his credibility every microsecond that passes by. Interesting. Ifia Fosua Randolph, wow, I love the touchscreen analysis, learning more. Okay. Joycelyn Coleman says, Paul, please, the president should bring a uh, fast track court. Okay. Felix Kobe says, Bello, the lover of history, keep rocking, bro. And Sita Mohammed says, Paul, are you wearing a jalabia? A haji, Paul. You look good anyway. Interesting. Oh. Farouk Tema, the Auditor General's contributions in building Ghana cannot be overlooked, but my worry is with their haste in publishing preliminary reports with the contributions of concerned institutions. I urge the AG office to be tactful with their works. Kudos to Honorable Hawa Kumsin and Honorable Martin J. Mensa Kosa for their great works. Interesting. Abu Bakar Baba says, Ahaji Paul, Asama Alekum, meaning peace be upon you. 
And teacher Aroma says, good evening, Paul. You're doing a great job. Please elaborate more on the agenda 111. The NDC okay. want to make it look bad in the sight of Ghanaians. Okay. Interesting. Hello. Dash Stinkon says, a government is mandated to build and industrialize its country to create jobs for its citizens, but it is unto the citizens to maintain the infrastructure systems of the industries and follow the rule of law. Interesting. Okay. My sentiment exactly. No investigation into these issues together with these institutions who have definitely put in so much effort in making Ghana a better place. This is serious because an organization's hard-earned reputation is on the line and is easily being dragged through the mud without a comeback if not cautious. Mm -hmm. Auditor General must be guided.